Hello the people of the universe, this is the Moving Wizard, welcome back to another video and today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft Communities as we so often are on this channel on a Saturday at 7 o'clock and today in this video we are going to be finishing off what we started building in the last video um, which was the Town Hall which I think is actually quite a cool looking building so in the last video you may remember it was literally just like um, like a big brick and with a little bit of cobblestone uh, like a big brick cobblestone wall thing and it wasn't very nice looking however I have um, added a few bits of sandstone to it so it looks a bit nicer and in the last video we also had an issue where the dogs weren't eating anything there we go now they're eating stuff and um, they had to go without for a week because for some reason they wouldn't um, eat it they also didn't seem to care that much about the food because they don't tilt their heads anymore which they used to and I don't know why they don't anymore but it is just a bit weird um, but uh, there we go, all the dogs have been fed, which is better than I did in the last video because they wouldn't eat in the last video. They went on strike or something. Um, but I think if we just carry on up here, uh, then you can see immediately what I've done to change it. So, it, like, I think I had only just about added the windows to it in the last video. I hadn't even built, built it all up. But I do think if we come back here and we look at it just coming over the hill, it does look really cool. Um, obviously the clock sadly has to be slightly off center because it's got a two block middle um, and obviously ideally you would do it like that where it had to be a one block middle uh, but I didn't really plan that far ahead which I probably should have done as well if it had a three uh, like three in the middle like a one block middle um, then like I would have been able to have a three wide door which then would have made it line up better with the path but hey I didn't really think of that because I didn't really know where I was going to be building it however from all the way back here it doesn't look that big to be honest it looks like yeah fair enough that's a pretty substantial building but it, it's like it seems bigger than all these other buildings like you come up here and you're like yeah that's a pretty big building and i think that is only slightly bigger than this but like you look at it from here and it looks massive and especially when you get even closer to it and it's like oh my goodness like this is huge um and it's not even that big and it's great um but yeah, so in today's video we're going to be doing the interior, or at least part of the interior, because it is a very, very big place. Um, so, um, like, we are going to only be doing a little bit of it. So I want to get done what we're doing up here done today, definitely. But if I can't get that done, then I will just um, do that out of video. But I'm going to do, like, the rough thing of the... Um, inside and give me a second let me just make a bunch of these into planks and then I make a bunch of these into stairs um, then I need to come back out in a minute anyway to make some signs but so yeah so in here we're going to be doing a big table and if you missed the last video it's a big town hall and the purpose of this I'm not entirely sure to be honest um, just here to look nice to be honest um, but I think it does look quite nice it fills that purpose quite well um, and I think if we go over here, um, and then we can go and build this up, like so. Um, and yeah, these are just going to be seats, like, there's no, there's not going to be real, uh, really many meetings, but this is like, if there was a town council, then this is where they would meet. Um, however, I'm just going to extend this table out by one, uh, just because, actually, yeah, that leads it into the doorway, so I'm not going to have a chair here, but I am still going to extend it by one. Uh, and I was toying with the idea of using these, like the complete bark blocks, but I do quite like the texture on them. A lot of people don't, but I think that uh, on the top it actually looks quite nice for a table. Uh, it looks a bit like a fancy patterned, like, place, not placemat, like, tablecloth, which is a bit weird to have in a meeting room, I will be honest. Um, but I think it still looks nice and it still works. And all these rooms are slightly different, by the way. Now, this took me ages to get. I have to keep resetting my nether, which is really bad. Um, but then yeah, so we've just got some of these going along here. This is the Birch room with some um, stone brick stairs. This is nether brick stairs. Uh, I did try the wart, nether wart one, uh, but I didn't like it that much. And then obviously in through here, we've got um, the uh, jungle wood um, floor. That's the one. And then in through here is like a little bit of a mixture of the two. You've got the bricks, you've got the... Um, thingy uh the birchwood like you do in this room over here uh and yeah i just think a lot of these look quite cool to be honest 
Um, and I have also realised I've completely forgot to um, set a timer, which is really bad. Um, but then in this other room, we're going to be building something even more different. We're going to be like... We're building another table, but we're building a different style of table. Because it's a bigger room, and I don't know why I'm holding all this. I might as well just wait until I find it. But I am, and I'm going to stop because that's, that sound was annoying me. Uh, and it's all the way at the bottom. I should have probably gone upwards. Uh, that would have made a lot more sense. Actually, where, yeah, why is it got cobblestone? That's the first one. I thought it was oak wood normally. Um, and we don't need all of these birchwood slabs. Um, but hey, we can build a really big table now instead of just a decent sized one. So I think if we have it like this and then we'll do it to over here and then do this around here as well. So this is going to be like, it looks more like a real table but it's going to be squarer rather than just being a long rectangle. And it's going to have this like floaty bit in the middle just because I think that looks quite nice. Um, and actually I might leave this middle bit open because you sometimes get that in like meeting rooms and stuff where it's just got a little bit in the middle so someone can stand in the middle or whatever. Um, I mean that might not be an actual thing, I might just accidentally made that up but I, I could have sworn I've seen that somewhere. I don't know where I've seen that but I could have sworn I have seen it somewhere and I think it looks quite cool as well. Um, obviously you can't pass each other the papers or anything. It looks a bit like a classroom actually. Yeah, I might change this because it does look a bit like a classroom if you have that uh, middle bit open. Uh, but hey, for now, nothing's wrong with a classroom, I guess. Um, then over here, then we're going to leave a gap, we're going to leave another gap, we're going to leave another gap. And yeah, so this is going to be meeting room at number two. And then across the hallway, we're going to use a different type of wood because we've used a lot of birch wood in this video. Um... But we're not just going to be using birch wood. And ignore that redstone. That's going to come later. And actually, I might use some stone bricks, to be honest. I think they might look quite nice. Um, just going to make some of these into slabs. And I might do another one of these half open tables. And then I'll use uh, spruce wood to do another one of these. And I probably could have actually stripped those birch logs. And that would have looked a bit nicer. So I might try doing that in a minute. Um... Actually, yeah, I'm not going to do that in here, otherwise it will blend in with the um, floor too much. But in here, it should work just completely fine. And so, nope, it needs to go one or two inwards, I guess, one across and one uh, forwards. So then if we just carry on like this, oh no, I've mucked this up. Maybe this would look better as a whole table, actually. Maybe just having one um, with a bit in the middle would look a bit better. Um, and then over, is this right? Yes, this is right. And whoopsie daisy, didn't mean to do that. One, two, three. Yep. Um, and then I do have a load more slabs, which is probably a bit of an error in my judgment. And actually, I think this sort of thinner thing for the hole in the middle table actually looks quite nice. So I might leave it like that. And I think having some more of these just for the, um, uh, chairs should look quite nice as well um, and actually um, yeah I might extend this by one going closer to the door otherwise then it's like another one just going there so yeah I might do that quickly just like so um, and yeah this is just another meeting once again it looks a bit like a classroom but I think that is just because of the, uh, this hole in the desk, but I think it just looks quite nice. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and if you don't like it, then that's your fault. Um, I'm not changing it, so actually I might change it. But I'm not changing it because someone doesn't like it, so you can complain all you want. Um, and then up here, we could do a double one. We could do one where like people can sit together at the top. As you know, I quite like the idea of being able to look out this window. Even though the view is not that great, it still looks quite nice. Um, where you can see Laurie's estate and obviously the Welcome, the Inn trilogy even. Um, and then Drake and Puggles' castle. Um, then I'm just going to run outside. And I once again, I have no idea how long this video has been going on for. Um, because I made an error and it didn't set the timer. 
So this video might be really long. This video might be really short. You'll never know. Actually, you will know. I won't know until I've edited this. And I'm, at this point, I'm probably cringing when editing this. Um, because I'm speaking to myself when editing it. Which is something that I don't particularly like doing. Uh, actually, no, I like doing it in the video. Uh, I don't like it when I'm actually editing it, though. And, yeah. Th let me just go along here. And I think this actually does look slightly better with it stripped. Actually, I don't know. I quite like the pattern being on the outside, especially for the birch, because it's got, it has got such a nice pattern. Um, but then I think it looks better from the top. Maybe I could always add some... Um some whatchamacallits to it um, some trapdoors around the outside just use some Burke's trapdoors uh, and hang on a second let me just go and make some of these I'll just put that down there um, make some more chairs like so um, so there's going to be one there and there's going to essentially just be underneath the torches or in between the torches sorry um, just like so and yeah, this is actually working out quite nicely, if you ask me. Uh, I think this looks fine without having the um, trap doors on the outside, but I might go back into this room over here and actually... Um, you know what? No, I think I'm fine with it like this. Actually, what if I um, do this just along the middle? I'd have to replace this one because otherwise that's just a bit backwards. Yeah, maybe. What if I do this to all of them? Uh, does this take down the durability on my axe? Or, uh, axe, sorry, not axe. Um, I really hope it doesn't, just because otherwise my axe might break. Uh, but it hasn't. Uh, so what if I then place this down and make some Burke's trap? doors like so oh, I can only make two <laughs> to make some more birch planks um, just like so and then scroll up a little bit and then go and get some more of these I've got 30 that should be more than enough and yeah you know what I think this actually looks quite nice um, having these on the outside so I think I am going to keep it like this and also I'm running out of birch logs so even if I did want to replace them then I couldn't do right now otherwise I'd have to go and chop down a whole load of birch trees um, which I wouldn't particularly like to have to do. Um, it would be interesting to count like how big the table actually is, like the amount of blocks that are in this table. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and do the same with the uh, ones with the hole in the middle, just because obviously they're bigger, but they have got a hole in the middle. So it would be interesting to see which one has the most. I, I'm still I'm going with this one to be honest, um, over the ones with the holes in the middle, but. You never know. They could be a different outcome. Uh, but then I think the one, the big one with the hole in the middle would obviously have more um, than that one. The small one with the hole in the middle. Uh, but yeah, I think this is actually looking quite nice right now. It's a little bit weird from the top, but I think when you just walk in, it looks quite nice. Um, and yeah, that is the tables, the meeting rooms, done. Now we're going to be working on the... Um, the thingy, the whatchamacallit, um, the big event, shall we say. So, actually, I need to go and get something. Um, so, this place is going to be like, um, obviously, you've got the big clock up there, but I like the idea of going up here, and it, like, projects the image of a clock onto the back of this, and then that's what, that's what you see from the front. It's like it's not actual hands it's just like it's like when you watch films and they're going behind the cinema screen in that film and like they can see the film but backwards you know you know what i mean i don't know i know what i mean just search it up try, try and find i think they do it in mr bean the movie uh i think well i think it's called bean the movie not mr bean the movie um but i quite like the idea of doing that with the clock and i was thinking this place needs to be like a place of significance because it's like it's like capping off the first street like admittedly you look over here and it looks a bit empty because it hasn't got anything capping it off but this street looks quite full now and I quite like it to be honest um obviously it looks a bit bad when you look over there and it hasn't got very many things 
Um, but it needs to be of significance either way. Um, and I thought, what more significant in this community world? Hang on a second. Uh, yep, there we go. sorry about that. Um, then the time machine clock itself. Um, so I think maybe if I just go up here and try and find it. Where is it? Um, ah, it's over here. Uh, it's going to ruin this display a little bit, actually. Um, but let me just... Uh, there we go. We have the time machine clock in our possession. And I need to get the item frame as well because I didn't get one in between video because I didn't want to have to try and find a cow. Um, actually, I should probably... I think I have got a cow farm inside the barn. The... Oh, what's it called? Um the farm factory that's the one I think I have got a cow pen inside of there uh, but it's not like an automatic farm I don't think you can automatically farm cows you might be able to I don't know I should probably look into that automatic cow farms I know you can automatically farm sheep but that's just for their wool that's not just making more sheep uh, that's just infinitely getting wool out of the same sheep um, and that's automatic and that's quite cool uh, but for cows, I don't think you can. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, oh, I forgot the redstone. Um, so there's no real, like, method to doing this. I'm essentially just going to build a thing using redstone that looks really sophisticated, but isn't that complicated. So there's going to be lots of doohickeys going off, and it's going to look like it's doing something, but actually it's not, because, like, let's just build up something... Um, I haven't even got a thing to put it on yet. Um, because obviously, uh, let me just go and get some stone bricks. That should do. Um, there's going to the item frame is going to be on a redstone lamp, um, just so then it looks decent. Um, but sadly, once again, because it hasn't got a exact middle, it's going to be a bit odd. Um, oh well, I guess it's even not odd. Which is the whole point. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that joke and pretend I didn't try and make it. But the whole thing is, is this light is going to turn on. And this will project the clock onto the back of the clock face. Which you'll then be able to see it um, from the other side. Um, so I think if I... I need to do it upside down because that's how film screens do it. Well, the film screens do it back to front. But you can't do it back to front in Minecraft. So upside down is the closest I can do. Um, but then all we need to do is turn this on essentially and it would work um, but I'm not planning to just turn it on because that's way too easy what we are going to do is we are going to have a um, a collection of doohickeys to try and make this work properly and step number one of having a collection of doohickeys is to actually link it up um, so I think maybe if I do I have any comparators actually I do have comparators um, so I don't know how you'd actually do this properly because I've figured out a way, well I didn't figure it out, I covered it off a redstone tutorial, I can't remember who from, but to essentially just extend um, the pulse of a button, but we don't need to extend the pulse of a button because we're not using buttons. Uh, what we could do is, I found it, uh, this thing, and I did this on my own, it's not very impressive, but I was quite proud of it. Um, is you can make redstone clocks using these like this but they flash like really fast like oh no mm, maybe it has to go like this no how does one do such a thing? Um, hang on, let me Google it. <laughs> this is a really not um, professional way of doing things. But hey, when have these videos ever been professional? We've done like 100 videos of this. I'm not going to start doing professional stuff now. Um, so what's it called again? Um, Redstone... Uh, comparator, comparator, not comparator. Um, comparator. What's the thing? Clock. Clock. Uh, let's just have a look at some of these diagrams. Um, 
images uh, right so oh okay yeah I think this is how I've done it wrong I think it needs to go like this and then I need to yeah this is it um, so essentially from here then we can also I'm just gonna shout out the person whose picture I started off oh, it's just from reddit it doesn't tell me who posted it um, but there are other ways of doing it um, I just saw that and this is the way that I sort of discovered it on my own uh, but I couldn't really remember how I did it I thought we'd just be able to figure it out again um, but yeah so if we do it like this and as you can see despite the fact that it is flashing um, yeah this was how I did it this, <laughs> this is really confusing me right now this has actually turned this um, hold on give me a second oh no <laughs> I'm just going to have to destroy this this really fast redstone into oh <laughs> now it's broken now it's not there we go so this turns this really fast redstone into um, normal redstone clock speeds um, which I think looks rather cool um, however this little bit over here um, where this normally gets powered I don't just want it to be a normal way of getting this powered I would like this to be a proper big thing so we can switch it on and off and to do that what we're going to do is we're going to do this like um, let me just grab this and then put this into there and then we're going to put a piston no we're going to have to move this back slightly uh, we're going to put a piston uh, on top of this block facing us no I need a sticky piston actually sorry and uh, no, it's just a regular piston um, I then need to put this there so then if I apply a redstone current to this I've done with a lever why don't I have a lever that is textbook redstone stuff right there if I do this do I have any observers with me no I don't have any observers those would have made this way more complicated if I do this then it turns it off and if I um, break this then it turns it back on however we're not just going to finish there uh, we are in fact going to build a whole other one of these thingies um, just like so and we're going to make it even taller than the last one uh, and essentially the way we're going to do this is we're just going to um, place another sticky piston there and then we're going to place a block there and then currently this will not be extended forget that this will then be extended but then if I okay yeah I'm just gonna go and try and find um, some cobblestone to try and uh, surely we've got some cobblestone in here uh, nope any levers nope okay I need to go and I'm just gonna mine some cobblestone because I had loads and then I went and put it back in my storeroom so it would make more room in the chests um, sadly I didn't really think it through um, however yeah I only need one but I might as well make it look a bit more natural and I've got loads of wood in this chest and I've also got wood here I don't know why that's there um, I should probably fix that at some point I don't know was that me that put that there and is just forgetting it might well be yeah, I do have a tendency to forget things however I'm just gonna run back outside uh, and I'm gonna quickly make another one of these then I'm going to turn that into this and then turn this into um, redstone stuff which is there, so you've got a picture of a lever and boom this entire thing will be activated by one pull of a lever but normally you just plus, uh, place a lever on the back of this um, thing, this redstone lamp but no 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 we are not going to do that for we are going to make it even more complicated than it has to be because that's just the way we roll so yeah this is how this is going to work um, so if I pull this lever then it hey what does it do 
I, I pfft, done this wrong, haven't I? Um, let me just go and loop this back round there. We're getting really short for space here. I would have thought um, this would take less space, but apparently not. Um, so I think maybe if we just go like this, then this is going to be like that. And so then, if I pull this lever, it's going to pull this back, which is then going to pull this back, which is then going to start this going. But then I feel like this needs a noise attached to it. And the best way to make a noise attached to a piece of redstone is using a piston. Normal people would probably say a note block. But no, no, no. We don't want a note block. We want a piston because it makes it sound properly um, like industrial. And also you can push things up and down with it. Um, or just up, I guess, because it's a uh, non-sticky piston. However, then I think if we carry on like this, then we'll grab another repeater and then we will extend the delay even further so this actually i think uh yeah actually i think that would be better up here um so if i just go like this then i'll put this on to full delay so um then i think maybe if we have another lamp just like this and i, I i've worried then that you can't um yeah, there we go. I, I worry then that you couldn't um, break lamps with your fist and like, just destroy the lamp. Um, actually, I think maybe if I do it like this, it looks more consistent. Okay, yeah, this is hopefully... Yeah, this provides a nice flashing effect, like so. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to loop this redstone... Um, up through here. Actually, if I do it like this, slow this down, then yes, it does do that. Um, then we're going to loop this up round here, like so. And then as this is extended on full, but I don't want this to work yet. I want the first time this works to be hang on hold on a second I've done this completely wrong haven't I <laughs> this doesn't even work um right so um hmm how to make this work then I know how to make this work it's just more complicated Hmm, it's going to take some destroying of things, to be honest. I think maybe if I just destroy this for now. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, right, okay. No. I know what I've done wrong here, so I'm just going to destroy this for now. Um... But yeah, so we've got everything in place. We have everything in place right now. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to pull this thing. And hopefully, this is going to be pretty epic. And we're going to see that light up. And the clock will finally be working. So, three, two, one. Oh. Done it the wrong way, haven't I? <laughs> um, hang on. Uh, let me just go and put this like so and then three two hang on three two one hey oh wait hang on is this not good enough to delay it hey <laughs> right so this is now finally working ignore the, those few mishaps but yeah the clock is now finally working and projecting onto the wall um so yeah that is this video done i think it did go on for a bit longer than normal i don't know how long i'm guessing around 25 minutes i might be completely wrong it might be 45 minutes it might be 10 minutes i'll never know i actually will know when i'm editing this but yeah so i thank you for watching the next video we're gonna land next week as always and link in the description once it is goodbye